they're doing. Wow. Now it's up to us. And it's it's up to us. I, I appreciate you reminding us of that and sharing that story. I appreciate the call. Uh, let me extend my invitation again. Mr. Dan Gilbert, if in fact this was a legitimate mistake and it was an oversight and not something done intentionally, please get in touch with me. I can help you out. I can, t I can help you to uh, improve your image and improve the image of what you are doing here in Detroit. I, I, I don't want to believe that you did this on purpose or your people did this on purpose. I'd like to think that it was an oversight, it was neglect, it was the kind of racism uh, that white folks who don't think they are racist have. Give me a call. I think we can help you out. I've been around a long time in this town. Ask about me. In the meantime, let's get back to our phone lines. On line three, we have Scotty. Hey, Scotty, good afternoon. How you doing? Okay, Cliff, how you doing? Listen, Cliff, you know, I don't think, and I think, I'm almost sure, I don't think white folks are scared of blacks. The reason I say that, did you see the picture a long time ago, uh, the Tenth Commandment? It's totally a battle story, the Tenth Commandment. Did you see that? Yes. You seen it? Okay. Now, when 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 they was uh, all the white folks out know, saying, you see how powerful our alcohol is. You see what he did when he parted the the river and all that. How powerful he was, and they, they seen how powerful they were. But now here, <laughs> when they when the, when the most went up there in the mountains, they all went back. They let one one white person, one white person, persuade them to go right back. I will add this though, and, and I appreciate your call a lot, Scotty. Um, I don't want to compare the movie The Ten Commandments to something that's really happening. Although I understand the point that you're trying to make, but I think we're going to keep this in the realm.